Yeah, I am what I am. I don't have no time for no misunderstandings again. Aloha YouTube, what is up? Untied Hawaii here, back again with your favorite series, the Beater Box series. We haven't really been doing as much Beater Boxes recently and that kind of bums me out. So I figured we'd try to get more consistent with that again, hopefully have one every week, but it probably will be more like once every two weeks. So I thank you guys for your patience. I know we still got the hype boxes, we got mail times, we got a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully gonna try to get into those real talk episodes real quick. And yeah, a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, we're gonna try to get back into this. Like I said, this box is $1,125. Basically a mystery box full of sneakers use new conditions various sizes the whole point of the box is that you clean them up flip them and you can make some profit off of it these boxes are sold through soul supremacy soul supremacy is a shop out in the bay area of california really good guys over there so check them out link will be in the description below they got a lot more than beater boxes guys they're a pretty premier shop for sneakers so highly recommend 1125 exciting let's go See, I need to get like a stand or something because there's no way obviously that I'm keeping this on my lap. The whole video just doesn't work like that. These boxes weigh like 20 something pounds. So yeah, they're pretty big. So first thing that I noticed is that all of them have boxes, which is a good sign. Um, obviously if a shoe has a box, it'll be a lot easier to move than a shoe that doesn't have a box. So that's a good start, I guess. This is probably not a good start though. We got an A6 box, size eight and a half. I've never heard of that colorway. Okay, well, I mean, the shoe is a dead stock A6, whatever this thing is. I'm guessing it's just a GR, because, yeah, there's nothing special about this one. Looks like it's just a normal A6. Okay, tags attached, dead stock, brand new. No idea what the value is on this, but it's a pretty clean sneaker. Next up, we got a size 5.5Y Jordan 13. Kid size shoe, no creasing, bottoms are clean. Laces look factory lace, no sock linen there. So, yeah, dead stock Jordan 13 bread. Kid size, but... Hopefully there's still some value here. I, th I think it would go for at least like a hundred bucks. And when you think about it, man, kid shoes for a hundred dollars is kind of insane. I don't know, Jordan has a stranglehold on the competition, I guess. So you can pretty much put whatever retail you want and people will still buy them. Okay, next up, another Jordan box. This one is a Jordan 12 though, size nine. All right, and this one is the Deep Royals, regular Royals. I think it's called Deep Royals. It's like a very blue shoe, uh, but yeah, this one is used. Bottom's a little bit dirtied up over there. Uh, everything else looks okay. I don't see any, oh well. There's a little bit of like scuffing right there, I guess, which makes sense because I mean, the material is suede on the upper. So it will pretty much, if you wear it like a couple times, you'll have like some kind of signs of wear. So yeah, not the greatest, but at least it's a Jordan. Jordans usually always sell no matter what the condition is. We got a lot of Jordans in here, it looks like. Next up is a size 4Y, Jordan 5. This is the Jordan 5 Laney. And this one is, oh, this one is dead stock too. So Jordan 5 Laney, really like this colorway. Blue, yellow, white, kid size shoe. So it might not be too good in terms of like the ease of movability, but anything that's dead stock is Pretty good. I'm sure the counter is happy over here. We got like uh, five shoes left, I think. This one is a Jordan 1 Gatorade. This came out a couple months ago. Size nine and a half. Came with this towel and stuff too, which I thought was a nice touch by Jordan brand. Everybody likes a freebie. And okay, so this is the orange one. I, I, I was never really a big fan of the Gatorade series. Leather quality is all right. Uh, the Gatorade marker on the back is what kind of denotes this as Gatorade. And also on the bottom, you can see through that clear sole says Gatorade down there too. I mean, the resale probably on this isn't very good. I think all the colorways except for like that lemon lime, which is the best flavor of Gatorade. Other than the lemon lime one, it's a flavor, not a color. But other than that one, most of these sat on shelves and like foot lockers and places like that. So not too much value, especially used. So kind of disappointed in this, but that's okay. Thousand dollar box and we haven't been seeing too much stuff. And this one is a size 10 NMD R2. Okay, and I think this one is called Trace Cargo. I'm not too sure. It is dead stock though, brand new, unworn. Bottoms are clean. Honestly, man, like ever since the R2 came out, I've been pretty much over NMDs and Ultra Boost and all that stuff, like all together. I don't know why, I feel like they just oversaturated the market way too fast and it just kind of killed the hype on it. Boost is still very, very comfortable, but in terms of like hype slash fashion, I guess, not too many people are wearing Boost anymore, if you noticed. Adidas is, they're still pretty up there and I mean, Yeezys will still sell out. I think Ultra Boost and NMDs for the most part don't sell out as fast anymore. Certain colorways can, but there hasn't been anything that really popped and made people go, I need this. Maybe the Ultra Boost undefeated, but again, resale is like destroyed on that, so yeah. That's my little spiel on Adidas. Nike and Jordan are always gonna be the staples of the sneaker industry. Sometimes it'll trend down, sometimes it'll trend up. 
and sometimes Adidas will make their rise and whatnot. But I feel like Nike is just kind of solidified in that market, you know? So yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. This one is a Puma box. I know nothing about Pumas. <laughs> uh, this one is a size 8.5. Okay, well, this is an interesting colorway. I like the sole. It's like very green, which makes no sense on this. There's like a camel on top. Oh, Atmos. Okay, so there's, this is an Atmos branded shoe, which is kind of cool. Atmos is a company out in Japan. This I did not know existed until now. And, and I mean, I'm kind of happy I didn't really know about it because this is a little bit too wild for me. I can't. I can't use this. A lot of dead stock shoes in here, I noticed though. All right, we got two left. This one is a Jordan 1 in a size 10 and a half. That's my size. Oh, and this is a big one. Okay. This is the Jordan 1 bread. Assuming this is a 2016 version. It's a 2016 version. So Jordan 1 bread. It's not brand new, but I mean, the quality of this one is really, really good. Clean sneaker. Bottom's a little bit dirtied up though. But the Jordan 1 bread goes for a quite a bit of money that's a good thing i actually sold my last pair of breads too which is kind of a bummer and 10.5 is my size so might keep this it is a very nice sneaker and it is one of the most iconic jordan ones on the market so that's cool really like that one that's a good piece and the last thing in the box is a yeezy 350 so we got the jordan brand and we got yeezy this one is a size 10. I think this is a replacement box because I saw gray, so I assume this is a beluga too. But this is actually the Oreo Yeezy. Yeah, this one is a little bit used. You can see the bottoms over there dirtied up. Uppers look completely fine though. Inside lining looks great. Also go kart in here, so I guess that means that it's legit. But anything that's sold from Soul Supremacy is always legit, so don't worry about it. Rarely will fakes slip past them. So that's why you buy from companies like them. And yeah, that's it for this box. I mean. It was a weird box. It was a weird box, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kinda mixed about it because there's a lot of weird shoes in there, like the Pumas and the A6 and stuff, but I'm assuming the breads go for like at least 300 bucks, and I'm assuming the Oreos still hopefully, hopefully, go for at least 400 bucks, even if it's in a replacement box. So that would be about seven, and then I guess a couple Jordans and stuff. Okay, when I'm reading it through my head, I honestly feel like there's almost no value here. So, so this will be interesting to see like once I calculate it out. You guys kind of saw it before I did because I do the calculations after. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was this a hit? Was this a miss? Uh, I feel kind of neutral right now. I do like that Jordan 1 bread though. So in itself, personally, that's good for me in terms of resale. It has yet to be seen. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. This has been another Beater Box episode with Untied Hawaii. Until next time, stay humble, stay blessed. Take care, guys. I'll see you. Aloha. Shoot!